let r1 and r2 respectively denote the maximum and minimum remainders when 2 7 6 to the power n is divided by 91 where n is always greater than or equal to 144 then what will be the value of r1 plus r2 how do we solve this question before we start solving this question can i say if i try to find the remainder when 276 is divided by 91 this is equal to nothing but 3 because 91 into 3 is 273 right 276 is nothing but what we can write 276 is nothing but 273 plus 3 which is equal to 3 into 91 plus 3 so till 273 it will be cancelled out 3 will be the remainder so can i say that uh, when we are trying to find the remainder when 3 to the power n is divided by 9 now we can find the maximum and minimum remainder and then we can add the values so what will be the remainder now if we say if we take a different values of n can i say if i take n is equal to 1 the remainder will be equal to 3 if i take n is equal to 2 the remainder r will be equal to 9 if i take n is equal to 3 the remainder r will be equal to 27 if i take n is equal to 4 the remainder r will be equal to 81 similarly if i take n is equal to 5 this will become 243 right this will become 243 and if i divide 243 by 91 so 91 into 2 is 182 what are we getting 61 then in that case remainder will be 61 then again if i take n is equal to 6 remainder r will be equal to so 3 to the power 6 is 729 now 729 when divided by 91 what will be the remainder so 91 into 8 is 728 so remainder is 1 so now we are getting remainder 1 now if i take n is equal to 7 right then what will be the remainder remainder will be again 3 because see 3 to the power 7 can be written as 3 to the power 6 into 3 to the power 1. Remainder when 3 to the power 6 is divided by 91 gives us a remainder of 1. This will give us a remainder of 3. So ultimately the remainder will be 3. So it will be a cyclicity of 6. The remainder will keep repeating after every 6th power. Right. So can I say whatever the remainder we are getting here will be sufficient to answer the question the minimum remainder you can see is 1 the maximum remainder you can see is 81 so in this case we can say r1 maximum will be equal to 81 r2 minimum will be equal to 1 sum of r1 and r2 will be equal to 82 and that is our answer